well, chicken coop on Mark 2. Um, we're making a frame at the moment, we're just getting this frame sorted out, screwed and glued. It's got a bit hot out there, so we have to take a short break. But uh, we're going to use this window, a side window. I'm going to put curtains in it so they can see out the window. But it needs to oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> So I need some uh, work doing, like putty work, scraping and painting. But we're just I'm concentrating on the frame of this uh, chicken coop here first. Okay, so now we're looking to where it's going to actually be oriented. Um, the window is going over there. This is the back area here, and on this back wall and on this floor area, I'm going to put some three partitions for the three, three chickens and then we can access that area from the back by lifting this up see we'll just lift that up that will get us into where the chickens eggs are so I can access that easy enough the sheet is on the bottom so to collect all the chicken poop to stop it destroying the wood which it probably will and uh, next I'm doing here this the roof is going to be on a slant so I'm trying to find a piece of wood that will fit in here that's what we're doing at the moment so everything's going all right <laughs> okay first coat of paint is going on real well this is just the undercoat then we'll put top coats on after this but just to get some kind of base happening at the moment well another hot day for a beautiful cool evening that right, Orby? She's lovely, she's sitting on a little balcony there. And so this is going to be the new chicken house, as you can see. We've got the, sh got the little stalls in, we'll put the little nests in there. We've got the fallout floor there. We'll probably put a, well, obviously we'll put a roost and perch all the way across here. Maybe one in a diagonal at some point. We're going to put fans in to keep the place cool. We're going to put some kind of heat in there. 12 volt heat and um, maybe chandelier or two who knows so the next thing is just to keep painting uh, this is just the first coat and we'll probably take two or three coats I would imagine and then I've got to paint and put in the front window here that's got to be done and also make a roof and we've got some roof material so we're set for that now we're doing a little bit of uh, decoration around the sides <laughs> and the back but I think that's all going to stop for the time being so I've got to get this thing moved and I've got to get legs put on it and wheels so it's all fun and I'll finish this once it gets up in the top garden alright so now we've got this part I'm just te testing the uh, window here this for fit it seems to fit needs a little trim there but that's it but that's good because it's holding everything in I've just got to paint it now and we got the the legs on and these front legs here I'm going to attach wheels and then this back here these back legs here these are the handles it's like a cart a barrow there. and there's the the drop down door there emergency fire escape <laughs> and we've got that area painted it's looking all right still needs touching up but it's coming on well we're getting a bit closer now we've got the roof on and uh, i haven't put it on a hinge or any attachment i'll just put it on to look at the fit so as you can see everything's going all right well hi there crossbeak how you doing girl there she is inspecting the rest of the raspberries are you well indeed it's all coming on um, i decided to put a little door in the side here for easier access so what this is going to do it's going to just you know, go down like that to a little ramp or a set of stairs so that's that part's done i've got to finish painting it um on the inside uh, we've put a perch for the for the chickens 
and here we've got some uh, a mobile heating unit from DC car light bulbs see it stretches out you can when it gets cold in the window you can pull it away and eat it and then just push it back and then behind that there's just on our flight there's a switch on the outside of the coupe so they can't turn themselves on and off though maybe I'll put it on the inside maybe I could teach them to do that really anyway, it's coming on bit by bit got that cross piece in there for strength I took this uh, back piece of wood off there and put it on the top because that was restricting this door from opening up there so we've got one two three areas of access so it should be much easier to keep this place clean okay I'm working on a little walkway for the chickens here so the plan is the door would open the chickens would come out go down here step down to that ramp and then down to that ramp I don't think that's too hard for them to jump up or down we'll see we'll, we'll get one of the chickens to try it out a test pilot if you will what's well, coming on so we've just got some piece shards of wood and just stuck them on here to give some traction for the chickens as they go up and down the ramp fingers crossed it'll work as you see you know trying to project ahead into the uh the window it's starting to get a bit dodgy out there <laughs> it's going to come up there and then go into the chicken house oh what a nice place they've got why it's getting there now oh Charles came out this morning and put in some straw so it's like a proper chicken house now look at that get fancy <laughs> Today is the day the chickens might go off into the house. We'll put little Obi in there. Hi Obi. Yeah, there she is. And there's boy there, he's inspecting everything, making sure we did a good job. Aren't you boy? Did we do a good job? And from the builders, we'd just like to say thanks for watching.